The new Mauerder Toten Easter Egg has a lot of people scratching their head with the very end of the cutscene. We saw the director sending out a group message about Project or Operation Janus. And this is actually not the first time that we have heard about this inside of Black Ops Cold War Zombies. And Operation Janus has many, many layers to it, so without further ado, let's get into it. First and foremost, I think to understand what Operation Janus is, we have to understand the meaning of the word Janus. Now, according to Wikipedia, Janus in ancient Roman mythology is the god of beginnings, gateways, transitions, time, duality, that's important, keep that in mind, doorways, passages, frames, and endings. And he is usually depicted as having two faces. So the meaning of Janus basically means a beginning and an ending, a good and an evil, yin and yang. But how exactly does that tie in with what we are learning here in Black Ops Cold War Zombies? Well, to learn that, we actually have to go back to the J Cypher, which is an intel that I believe was found in Outbreak, but it may have also been Firebase Z. And the J Cypher says this. Elizabeth, there is a new directive coming and I wanted you to hear it from me first. Perhaps it will help spare you the initial shock when you are informed in person. There is a new project in development that will require a great deal of our Ethereum reserves. Unfortunately, this means some of your research will be put on hold indefinitely. You are not the only one affected by this and I have been informed that half of all future Ethereum harvests recovered from my extraction rockets will also be diverted to this project. Now I want to leave you with one question and be careful who you mention this to. What do you know about Project Janus? So in this intel, it's actually Oscar Strauss who is basically talking to Elizabeth Gray and letting her know that all of their Ethereum, like the Harvest and any Ethereum that they acquire, half of it has to be sent towards this new project. And unfortunately, the director is not telling anybody about what this new project is. Now, as for who the director is, we aren't really sure. There has been a lot of speculation. Could the director be Rick Toffin, for example, or Eddie. It's very, very possible. Also, my best friend Joe came up with the idea that um, Eddie was turned into Klaus. I just like that idea. But looking into the meaning for the word Janus, if you think about the beginnings, the openings, some doorways, and then we know that they are taking Ethereum and using that towards this process, it sounds like the director is trying to find a way to create some sort of opening from the regular world to the dark ether. Similar to what Valentina was doing, but obviously Valentina was doing it to bring forth her father's army from the dark ether. Now that we've put a stop to Valentina and Mauer der Toten, Project Janus can continue. Now, remember when I said that thing about duality? This is not the first time that we have heard about duality inside of Call of Duty Zombies. Think back to Black Ops 4 when we were basically ending the Aether storyline with Dr. Monty and the Shadow Man. Duality, a good and an evil. Diving deeper into that, at the end of Black Ops 4, we quote unquote ended the duality. If you remember from the Togder Toten Easter Egg, the Seal of Duality step. So the Seal of Duality was actually two different things. If you remember, we needed the Vril device as well as the Agarthan device and the Elemental Shard from Alpha Omega. So let me read you something here from the Call of Duty Wiki that's going to explain this a little bit better. The Vril Vessel in design is extremely similar to that of the Vril Device, as both were constructed by Jebediah Brown under the guidance of the Keepers. On the Vessel, there is a Keeper inscription, which I have no idea how to read, and it says, Keeper for Hold Captive, Light, and Shadow, referring to the Agarthan Device's ability to resolve the duality between the Keepers and the Apothecons, to hold both Light and Shadow captive. So with the blood of an Elder God, as well as the Elemental Crystal, Put inside of the seal of duality, that would resolve the duality between the Apothecons and the Keepers. Victus find and sate the Apothecan blood, with it accepting that the duality must be resolved, and it giving itself willingly to the device, reunifying the Keepers and Apothecons within the ether for the first time since before the War of Agartha. So this device was also known as the Agarthan device, and basically what it did when the Apothecan blood went inside of the seal of duality, it sealed the fate of the Keepers and the Apothecons back together. The duality was resolved, 
And the same thing here happened with Dr. Monty and the Shadow Man. And by doing so, we can bind the Shadow Man as well as Dr. Monty back into one being. And if we can bind the Shadow Man and Dr. Monty back into one being, who does that make sense to be in our Cold War storyline? The One. The duality was ended. The two became one inside of the end of the Ether storyline. And now we have Project Janus inside of the Black Ops Cold War storyline where we have the director of Requiem basically wanting to find a way to open a doorway into the Dark Ether to basically help out the One. I really did think that the One was going to escape in Mauerder Toten, but the One did not. And inside of Mauerder Toten, we actually have a hint at this as well. It's not just convenience that the name of the upgraded Cerberus Wonder Weapon inside of Mauerder Toten is the Cerbertron Duality. C-R-B-R dash T-R-N Duality. The Cerbertron Duality is the name of the up Upgraded Cerberus. We also have Project Janus going on with the director of Requiem, and then when we look back into the Ether storyline, we have the duality of Dr. Monty and the Shadow Man. So the question is, where is this all leading? In the final map for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, I fully expect for the whole storyline to get blown open and ready for the future of Cold War Zombies. I truly do not think that the last map in Cold War is going to be the end of the zombie storyline. I think that this is just the beginning and they're going to be using that for Call of Duty 2023 when the next Black Ops game comes out. So at the end of that map we could be seeing the director opening and reopening the duality and basically possibly splitting the one back in half or opening the doorway, which is another meaning for Janus, for the one to come into the regular world. This is also not the first time that we have had some sort of god or goddess as the name of one of these kinds of projects. In fact, the name of the operation to send the German soldiers during World War II into the Dark Aether was Operation Balder. Now, Balder was a god inside of Norse mythology. He was the son of Odin and the brother of Thor. So it's not really that shocking to see Janus being used here as a way to describe one of these projects and kind of giving like a definition of what it's going to be like because basically the death of Baldur brought upon Ragnarok inside of Norse mythology. So if you think about sending the German soldiers into the Dark Aether and we're bringing them back out, that could basically be the world's version of Ragnarok. As for who the director is, I have no idea. Let me know down in the comments below who you think it might be. Don't, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.